and today in this video it's going to be another video of a moment we are about wings and I just keep finishing my wings really really quickly so you might have noticed now for three weeks in a while I've just been posting moment my videos so um I mentioned in the last video on the M14 video that I was linking some mount rings up because I built the M25 and the M6 so as I did that I wanted to build the M14 and the M14 so that they're all linked up so yeah in this video it's gonna be uh my wing creation of the M42 mount ray in Minecraft and it's a moment when the in came running from Cat's Hill Interchange on the M5 just outside Birmingham up to Burton on Trent in Nottinghamshire, I think. Somewhere up there, just just off the town road. Um, and also, now that I've built the M5 and the M42 and the M6, I've built the, um, the motorway box around Birmingham now, as all their motorways make up as a wing range around Birmingham. So I've built that full wing range now, now that I've built this motorway, along with linking it all up with the end train falling bits etc. So let's start start off with the spoiling video. There's nothing too much going on here. But this is Cat's Hill Interchange, which is junction 4A of the M5. So this main way one and along here was the M5. And this is the start of the M42. So the M42 starts here and then goes along there. So yeah, there's just a set of spring flow and slip points here. And wing log, there's actually four. There's actually one going on from here all the way over onto the M5. But because it went to trekking, I just built these two slip points here and then just one little one going from the southbound carriageway at junction 3 and which we'll see in a minute that's like this junction but i've actually built the four sets of slip points i thought i'd do that as that's like a major winter change so yeah i did that for the first time and i think i did such a good job so yeah, nothing too much going on here, so let's just get on with the next flyover. But... So in this next flyover here is going to be the uh, Junction 3 and the Junction 7 small motorway. Actually, not only is it a small motorway, but it's the, f the first a small moment way in the UK apparently according to um to the internet apparently someone on youtube like did a video on this moment way in it they said it was the first uh moment way to be upgraded to a small moment way so anyway this is junction 3a of the m 42 also known as Junction 17 on the M40. Actually, in my last video, this, um, I, um, showed this exact same interchange. Now, the craziest thing is, one, uh, this isn't on the same exact one as the M40. I build, um, I usually build the huge main ways on like separate roads. So, uh, as I showed this interchange in my last video, the M14, 
as arts will be seen in change as well on there. I won't explain too much, but here's the M42 and then the M14 continues from there. So if you want to pick up the M14 going from this way, you have to take this slip on here to uh, join on to the M42. And then uh, this moment I'm going along here, it continues as the M4 in towards London. So this moment right here is the M4 in which I showed in my last video as I built that moment right as well as this. So I can just link all the motorways up with the M25. So uh, um, if you're heading this way and you want to pick up the M40, you have to go straight ahead and then across to here to pick up the M40. And then if you want to pick up the M14, you take this slip road to pick up the M40. Now, as they're on two separate roads, I had to build the same junction twice. Now, I had to build the same junction twice, and I didn't even build it long ago, because I've stopped the M4 and swing straight away off to the M4. So, yeah, I had to build it twice, as they're on two separate roads, but they both look exactly the same. I did such a good job with them. So yeah, that's junction 3A of the M14. Also junction 17 of the M14, whatever you call it. So yeah, now we're on the small motorway now. And yeah, and it's the first motorway in the UK apparently. It was the first motorway that got upgraded. This junction is junction 4 and that is the M34 and that's for Shirley. Uh, if you're wondering what these weird signs and blocks do in there is that um, I want to put round works on my motorways after I found them. So they're just on signs and cones put to the signs waiting for the uh, upcoming one train to come in soon. Usually with small motorways as well, they usually four lanes in each direction, but in this one it's three lanes. In real life there's actually hard shoulders and during wash hour, the hard shoulders ain't can have a one and one. But on uh, in Minecraft I don't want to build hard shoulders. So I just kept it as a normal spring lane mount way and still put mount a smart mount way. We just passed junction five as well and that's for stalling the hole in the M41. So yes, yeah, so during wash hour, the whole chunders are actually converted to a running lane, but they're not always that. And yeah, because I don't want to build the whole chunders, I didn't put them in when I built it. It's the same on the M6, that's a small point where I'm burning them. But again, it's three lanes, but the whole chunder opens as a running lane during wash hour. That junction there was junction 6, and that was the A45 for Coventry, Birmingham International Station, Birmingham Airport, and the NEC, also known as the National Exhibition Centre. It's just called the N in Sing for short. This junction here is junction 7, also junction 4 of the M6, and that is for the M6 towards the North West and Birmingham East, Central and North. 
and also at this junction it's where it meets the M6 but um, I didn't put the M6 in as it would look a bit weird as I put in a roundabout there. This junction is junction 7A. It's also junction 3A of the M6. And at junction 3A of the M6, it's just a set of three flame slip ones. But that's actually access to getting onto this motorway. Not only now is this part of the motorway now closed as the M42, it's also known as the M6 toll. Because uh, there's also the M6 toll, which you have to pay to go on, and that just avoids going from Birmingham and that. But to access the M6 toll, you have to take them three flying slip rows off the M6 to get onto this motorway. And then you get onto this motorway to access the M6 toll. So this motorway is closed as the M6 toll as well as the M42. We just pulled Junction 8 as well. And that's uh, access to the M42 from the M6 southbound. And uh, also uh, north and south, and that is for the northwest, the north east, and the M6 town and the M1. And it's also for London, for the M4 in south and west. And then this junction here, not only this junction here, but things, 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 Plan sit right here as well is Junction 9. Yeah, apparently it's all known as Junction 9, but it's actually two separate junctions. So they, when they built it, they might as well just call this Junction 9A rather than Junction 9. And at this junction, the M6, uh, the M4 and 2 turns to the 1. And to get to get on that bit of the M42, you have to take these three slow, flowing slip ones to get onto it. And then straight ahead, this motorway here with the M6 toll. So yeah, this bit here is now known as just the M6 toll. And then this junction here, is uh yeah also junction nine and that is for kingsbury and lichfield and that is gonna work part for flying over small mountain and the uh on the flyovers from this video uh there's not really any point to any flyovers going straight ahead as um it's just a boring two lane motorway after that until we get to junction 11 where it ends. And then after that, it's then known as the 842 towards the M1 and the, the north. So, yeah, there's nothing really too special about this motorway again, mostly. All there is is that. It's just like a small motorway for most of it. And then uh, also, it's known as two motorways as well as you get onto that motorway to get on the M6 toll. So yeah, so yeah, two motorways and one one there. It's really weird. In real life, there's actually three carriageways there, not even three, probably four, and then them separate carriageways are actually in the M6 toll. But if I just built out a Minecraft, it would just look a bit weird. So I just, I just didn't 
two cowards range again and just crossed it both as the M40 and the M6 pattern. So yeah, that's going to wrap up the flyovers. Uh, the next uh, thing we'll see is the full drawing through of this moment away. Uh, which we're drawing for of the full length of the M42. It isn't a fairly long moment as well, so it took me long, just long, only a wink to build it, ain't long, too long. So yeah, I'll pause you over to the drawing for now, and I hope you will enjoy it. Right, it's long longer than this one, but it ain't very long. 
I won't tell him too much about it. I won't tell him the name of it. I'll keep it a secret until until uh, next week or the week after when it comes out. So yeah, expect to see that and some more moments coming up in the future as well. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you make one on I'm doing. I think small make one. It's really cool. I think on the small make one, the belt and more gloss look absolutely incredible. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.